Okay guys, so in the last video you have seen we have installed Strapi on your on our local machine with uh, MySQL database. So if you remember, we were clicking on the Strapi plane um, database here and it was not showing us any tables, but uh, seems like after building it up, everything is here. So it was correct. There were some tables which Strapi maintains for the usage of the admin panel. Now remember one thing that none of these tables have, um, uh, you know, sorry, most of the tables doesn't have Strapi extension in front of it. So if you have any other uh, table which uh, corresponds to the same name, it will break. For example, we created this product table. Uh, that's fine because we just created it as products. But when it comes to other tables, for example, Strapi roles or I18 and locales, most of the project have this uh, table name and this is not good practice from Strapi, I think so. But anyways, there are a lot of uh, uh, things which we have discussed about Strapi. Let's jump uh, to direct us. So let's first have a look how direct us actually look from the first. So if you search for direct us online, it's a very simple um, headless CMS uh, and uh, why I'm saying simple is it used to be on PHP and quite a lot of developers actually work on PHP on Laravel code igniter or even simple plain PHP and they migrated uh, the the PHP version which is the version 8 to node.js version and I don't have any complaint uh, for that it just it's simple node.js is the current language of uh, getting things done quickly so i think that's why they did it uh, and uh, it's completely free uh, they just have pricing for their cloud services so let's see how we can install it on our machine uh, going to our uh, installation guide here okay so in the quick start guide here it says that we have to create direct us project here so first thing first if you remember we created strapi plane database and we started working on the strapi installation so let's create another one for us and call it direct us plane and then create the database here right so once the database is created uh, i think we are good to go so we'll go back to our terminal which you remember still on the strapi installation so we just uh, clicked control and c to stop the server let's clear it up and what we need to do is we need to go to the same folder which is the headless cms so that we can create a folder here and we can name it direct us there we go now let's compare the installation uh, of strapi with the installation of this uh, direct us because the, the reason i want to compare it because ultimately i want to create two different videos where i can actually explain you where strapi is lacking and where is direct us is going forward and where direct us is lacking and strapi is going forward so both has pros and cons but it totally depend upon your own use case which particular uh, headless cmi you cms you want to use for your project now while it's installing let's go back to the documentation and then see uh, it is exactly same as the strapies one because it lets you select the database and provide all the details you can also create the admin users straight away uh, here on the terminal you don't have to actually create it on the screen and then just seeding inside the folder where you have actually created the project you can start it with the help of nps direct start so it's quite straightforward and it's very easy and I think uh, this is the same process we have followed for Strapi also so let's go back and see how the installation is going on it seems okay to me um, there we go 
So let's go for MySQL and by the way, uh, we will also learn how to install Strapi and directors on Heroku later on. Uh, and then we will utilize some free uh, tier available MySQL databases uh, on AWS. So, you know, subscribe to this channel so that you keep uh, getting updates afterwards. So database host is the same. You remember we installed maps or so port number is different. So triple eight nine. And then database name is direct us lane. That is user is root and password is root. So it's applying and removing the collection, foreign keys, etc. It actually tells you what it is doing. So here we go. The installation was super quick and it didn't took that long as uh, Strapi's installation took. And straightforward is asking us about the first admin user. So for example, I'll say username and my password. Right, there we go. Your project has been created in this particular folder and your configuration can be found on the environment. So in order to start this um, project, we need to CD into director lane and then we have to do npx direct as start symbol and this will start the server uh, and we will have uh, the ui available for us so let's see if it has started okay server has started on port 8055 right so i have to go to localhost and then 8055 and it's loading currently and then let's see what happens here so there we go we have got the login screen and voila it's amazingly fast it's not like uh, slow like strappy and you must be thinking know i i must have got some sort of sponsorship or something for this video from directors but no nothing i literally spent more than 72 hours studying both strappy and directors and i found that directors it has a different architecture and a different approach towards creating the headless cms whereas strappy has a different uh, approach and and a very simple um, example is remember when we created a new collection in uh, Strapi, we named it products, right? And let's say the ID should be product ID, okay? So increment, let me move the video here, and then we go right, and then we have status, we have sort, we have date created, date updated. There we go. We created this collection. Now inside this collection, I want to add some more fields. So for example, product ID is already there. So I will create fields, standard field, and then I say name, string, then right, uh, allow null, no, it has to have some name, and then uh, disable ID, no, I need to have this uh, uh, editable product name, and then interface i'll have it input and then i can say my icon should be a product icon right so if i say product this one and save it and click on right so now it's creating this uh, collection uh, in the database and you see the app didn't actually restart it or anything so it's simple and then once it's created in the settings section data model you can back go to your collection and then click on the product and then you have your product window here and you can easily create a, a product here so for say product one there you go and then 
you can do a lot of things so i'll explain you how directors uh, work later on but this is how you install directors with the help of mysql database on your local machine so if you like this video and if you want to learn more how to install these applications on different uh, uh, platforms then keep in touch and let me know and uh, if you have any question comment in the comment box below thanks bye